logging into Animal Crossing. First time in a, a long, long time. Have you all been still playing Animal Crossing? It's just such a lovely chill game. I'm so glad that this game came out when it did. It's almost like they planned it. It's almost like it was just like, here, you need this right now because everything in this game is made to be comforting and chill and just very homely. So I'm so glad that it came out when it did. Never played it, what's the hype about? You'll see, but it's it's more of a laid back game where you have a village and you have, oh, that sound. And you have these villager friends who also happen to be animals. So you're friends with a bunch of animals, which sounds a bit weird, but trust me, chillest game ever. Clean up stream? Yeah, it's gonna be a weed picking stream. I think that's, the majority of the time today is gonna be spent picking weeds. Look at that. Isabel's probably gonna yell at me as well. Good evening, everyone. Right now on Valinor, it's 7.20 p.m. on Saturday, July 4th, 2020. For some time now, Nook Incorporated has been exploring and studying the water surrounding our island. I am pleased to announce that based on their findings, the ocean's been deemed safe for swimming. Oh, I can't wait to see folks out there playing, diving, splashing, the appropriate amount, of course. Now for an additional announcement. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. It's probably someone really f ugly that you don't want on your island. That's all for today, guys. Have a fun day out there. I really don't want any more bodybuilder villagers. Like, um, I keep attracting them. I keep attracting them. Like, I don't even invite them. And I have like five guys in my in my village who walk around going, mmm, that was a sick workout. Mm, see you later, Wisp. I'm gonna go get some protein shake. It's like, I don't want you here. I want dreamies. We have standards. Isabel, she swears like a sailor, I tell you. Everybody thinks Isabel is innocent, but we all know how much Doom she plays in her spare time. She enjoys the bloodshed. She enjoys the swearing. Hey, my queen. Oh yeah, by the way, my nickname is my queen. I'm, Hazel was like, what do you want me to call you? And I just told her, my queen. You shall address me as... Your queen. Thinking about life. Love from Hazel. She's thinking about life. She's she's a philosophical squirrel. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Oh, I get free stuff just from downloading game update? What is it though? So it must be this one. A snorkel mask. So attractive. I want to express my appreciation. Oh, it's so cute. I hope that you like your shiny new stale cupcakes. Stale cupcakes. Hang on a second. I might take back what I said about that being cute. Oh, it's a song. It's a song called Stale Cupcakes. I wonder what this sounds like. This place is a mess. Don't, don't look. Don't look. If you haven't seen my house before. I wanted to go for like a regal theme, but then I just started chucking random everywhere. And this is what's happened. Such a chill song for a song called Stale Cupcakes. This is not what I was expecting. It reminds me of like sitting outside, looking up at the stars, seeing the stars and the moon glimmering in the night sky. So you know how if you look up at Rivendell, it's on a cliff and there's waterfalls coming down the cliff? I kind of tried to do that with my housing district. There we go. So I've started making like a housing district. You can see they're all very neatly lined up. So the idea is that I'm gonna put all the villages there and have them all like neatly in rows. But I've got like a weird arrangement going on here where I've started moving some of the shops up to a higher level. Ooh, what is that? I have not seen that type of bug before. This is my front entrance as well, if you guys haven't seen it. It's, it's a work in progress, but we're getting there. Oh, that's a wetsuit. I thought that was like um, a baby's play suit. Okay, imagine a small toddler wearing that and crawling around on the floor. But apparently that's the wetsuit. Aha, a wetsuit. I was swimming all day yesterday, found all the July sea creatures already. So were they like the normal fish that you catch with the fishing pole? I'd assume it's something different. Otherwise, what reason would you have to go fishing anymore? Like. You wouldn't have to fish anymore, you can just jump in the water. If I put the snorkel mask on, and then also the swimsuit. Whoa, fashion. 
whoa, fashion. Stripes do not do anything for me, I've got to say. Oh god, I look hideous. Fly, my pretty! Oh, it's happening! Oh, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Unlimited power. Oh god, we can go further than we've ever gone before. How far out to sea can you go? I assume there's like an invisible wall at the edge of the map. And I can go faster like this. I assume I scare away fish if I go faster though. So we come in super stealthy. I'm gonna catch you, Mr. Fishy. There's bubbles down here. There's gotta be something there. If there's bubbles, right? Oh, oh. Hello? Cthulhu, is that you? Oh, there's, there's something here. Too scared. What if it's that beast that's been at the bottom of the Mariana Trench all this time? <laughs> ah! Whoa, this is a terrifying spotted garden eel. Was it unspotted before I saw it? <laughs> Animal crossing puns never get old, do they? Can I just straight up swim up to a fish and grab it with my bare hands like Gollum? Like, ah, yes, delicious, delicious. And just rip its head off, oh no. <laughs> Disappointed Animal Crossing. Where's the realism here? Oh. Oh. Whoa, this is... I got some seaweed. I couldn't help myself. Animal Crossing, I swear to God. I thought that it was going to make like the classic dad joke of like, why did the clam blush? Because the seaweed. Get it? Because... The seaweed, because sea seaweed. Can I go underneath my pier? That would be cool. Also, there's a massive, there's a massive beetle over there. Shh, we're going in. I'm gonna be stealthy. Wait, no, stealth failed. Shh, shush now. Gotcha. Is it a dung beetle or? A saw stag. Now I can't unsee it because we saw it. Whoa, this is a whelk. Happy snails to you. I don't get it. Does anyone understand the dad joke? I got a whelk. Happy snails to you. No, like, it's the first time I haven't got an Animal Crossing pun. I, I found it really interesting as well how they must have had to localize the puns. So for every version of Animal Crossing that was brought out in a different country, they had to make the puns appropriate for that language because some puns that work in English don't work in other languages either, do they? So they must have had to localize it. Like the Japanese version has different puns apparently. Or so I hear. I think the saying is supposed to be happy trails to you. Oh, is in like, oh, y y your journey and... Uh, what would I do without all of you? But so far, my review of the Animal Crossing update is... Seems cool. Like swimming. Don't understand the puns. Please, please explain puns, Nintendo. Thank you. Did the new update bring the possibility that you now need to defend yourself from sharks underwater? I was wondering about that, like roaming sea creatures that would knock you out, kind of like with the spiders. Because if you run into spiders in Animal Crossing and you don't catch them correctly, they knock your character unconscious. So I was wondering if there would be something like that in the ocean, but if there is, I don't know yet. A sea pineapple. I'm so sad they didn't make a SpongeBob pun. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. You'll move, sea pizzas. Animal Crossing, are you gonna bring up the pineapple pizza debate? Without me even doing it, you're gonna start a war in Twitch chat. I feel like I should constantly be singing uh, Little Mermaid under here as well. I'm just gonna pick up Sebastian and he'll be like, Darling, it's better. Down where it's wetter. I guess maybe later on they'll have something that helps you move around faster in the water, like some kind of tool that you can like grab onto and jet ski yourself around. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. There's a guy there. Hey, man. About that scallop of yours. Can I have it? No. What do you think I am? A charity? It played like the slightly questionable music like it does when you meet Red, because Red's a con artist and like, ooh, should you trust him? So I'm not sure I trust him. 
Should we give him the scallop chat? Should we do it? Does he deserve the scallop? Forget give and take. This is called give and give. That's how we all win. You dig? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. I don't know what you're referencing, sir. You would kindly present the aforementioned object? Stop and smell the roses, they say. The roses like being smelled. Thorns. Ah, take a hint. The roses like being smelled. Who asked the roses for consent of being smelled? Wrap your noodle round that. I'd rather not, thanks. Yeah, today is a good day. Yeah. What is he high on? Is this some kind of like hallucinogen inside of scallops that he's just completely baked on? Must be turnip high. Could be could be a turnip high or seaweed high. Hey, seaweed! Hey! He's high on seaweed, guys! We worked it out. Hey man. You kinda reminded me of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. What's up? Give me those sea scallops. See, we figured out that new nude nook is actually the mastermind of an international weed business, right? Because he encourages you to pick weeds and then sell them to him. So that's definitely what's going on here. I got a sea urchin. I wasn't even urchin for it. Wasn't even urchin for it. So bad. I like that you can just get in and out of the water wherever you want. Because I thought that you would have to go back to a certain point to leave the water. <gasps> pearl! My first pearl! I found a pearl. Could today get any more pearl facts? Oh, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your scallop? I imagine him having David Attenborough's voice and talking like, Ah, oh, yes, the scallop in its natural habitat, a fascinating creature. And if anybody says no to Blathers when he wants to tell you more about the creature, you're a monster. Nah, Blathers, I know you really like to. I know it's like your one true passion in life that gives you meaning, but nah. He's got so many wonderful facts as well, and they're all true. It's not like Animal Crossing takes place in a totally fictional universe. Yes, all of your friends are animals. Yes, it is a beautiful place where nothing bad ever happens, apart from occasionally running into a spider. But the facts about the animals are true. You can learn real things. I'm out, I'm out of the, the stalk market, guys. It got too stressful, it was, it was too much, you know. It took over my life. I was constantly thinking about turnips. First thing I thought of when I woke up in the morning, oh, wonder what the turnip price is. Last thing I thought of when I went to bed at night, huh, should I have sold my turnips? Was that a, was that a bad decision? Am I a horrible person? So I just, I had to stop. I told myself I was out. I didn't need millions of bells anymore. I hope you like your shiny new leaf print wetsuit. Elvin. Can I finally get rid of my ugly, stripy wetsuit? Is it time? Leaf print sounds beautifully elven. Oh, oh. It's like a, it's like a camo leaf print. Oh, that's so much more stylish. There's a shark for you to catch in the top right. Oh, oh, I'm coming. Oh, yeah. That, that's a definite shark. Am I in danger? Do I need a net to do this or something? Oh, did I scare it off? Is that, is that even possible? Can you scare the shark off? I can't see it anymore. Do, do you have to go under the, under the, oh, you have to catch it like a fish. Oh, chisel. I was, I was over here like Crocodile Dundee, like, I'm going in. I'm going to catch the shark with my bare fists plan didn't work out. If you ever need to explain to somebody what disappointment is. This is, this is, this is the definition of disappointment. Every, every time. Bets on the villager that's inside. What are you? I never thought I'd see an octopus with a lollipop. Hey, I'm just here to do some camping for a spell. As sure as a nice island. I don't know what this voice is, but now I've started, I have to keep it up. Oh no. No! It can't be! Oh, Nick's cranny sh- Wait, it's already 10 o'clock? What? I swear this game does time distortion magic. There's no way it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m! Ah! Cute! 
games. I think. I will have to say a fun farewell for today. Thank you so much for checking out the update with me. I loved going underwater, doing some swimming with all of you. I'll have to see if I can catch some of the rare fish and get lucky one of these days though. But there you go. There's the new update. Oh, guys, you know this one. Come on, sing along. <laughs>